Hello students, welcome again. Today we will be discussing on RNA. So what can be the question expected out of this? They might ask you mention the types of RNA or they might ask you write the structure of RNA, structural details of the RNA. So anything can be the question. Okay, so we will go one by one what are the types and what are the functions of each. So first coming to what are RNA? RNA is nothing but a polymer of ribonucleotides held by phosphodiester bridges. What is the full form of RNA? It is the ribose nucleic acids. Although it is certain similarity with the DNA, but it is having some specific differences from DNA. It is different from DNA. How they are different? Here, the sugar molecule which is present is ribose. In the DNA, we have deoxyribose. Here, we have ribose sugar. In the pyrimidines, instead of thymine which is present in the DNA, in RNA, we have uracil. Other thing, the RNA is a single stranded, whereas DNA is a double stranded. Being a single stranded, this structure, that is the RNA structure, will not follow the Chargoff's rule. So, these are the specific differences between RNA and DNA. In the exam, sometimes they might ask you for short answer. Write the differences between RNA and DNA. So, these are the four basic differences which you can write in the exam. So, we will go to next. That is RNA. What is RNA? I told you it is a polymer of ribonucleotides. You can see here the structure. The OH group is there. When it comes to the DNA, it is H group. Oxygen is removed. So, that is why we call that deoxyribose. Otherwise, it is having similar structure. It has nitrogenous base, a sugar moiety, ribose sugar and a phosphate group forming a nucleotide. And what are the nitrogenous bases? Here we have adenine, guanine, cytosine and uracil. Okay, uracil. The backbone of the RNA consists of ribonucleotide linked by again a similar phosphodiester bonds. Okay, the phosphodiester bonds form the backbone of the linear chain of RNA. It is a single stranded but sometimes it can acquire the double stranded like for example it's a linear then suddenly it has some turn so that time they might have the bonding within the structure that is hairpin loop like a hairpin it can have a loop in such cases it can appear like a double stranded but actually RNA is a single stranded structure okay so what are the different types different types of RNA can be a short answer question in the exam. There are many types but in that majorly we have got three types of RNA. What are they? We call messenger RNA, transfer RNA and ribosomal RNA. Out of these majority of the RNA what is present is ribosomal. Next to that it will be the transfer RNA and next to that will be the messenger RNA. So these are the three major types of RNA which are present in the cell. We will go one by one. What are these? Individually, these can be important exam questions. Now, messenger RNA or also termed as mRNA which is constituting a very small amount of RNA which is 5 to 10 percent. This mRNA is formed from DNA template as a primary transcript that is heterogeneous nuclear RNA or HNRNA which is converted into the mRNA or mature RNA which is messenger RNA by undergoing some changes in the structure which we call as post transcriptional modification means once the RNA is synthesized it is undergoing some modification by processing. What are they? It can B. Endonuclease cleavage, poly A tailing, 5' prime end capping, methylation, removal of introns and joining the exons that is the splicing of exons to become a mature 
एम आर एन ए और मैसेजर आर एन ए विच इज फर्दर रिलीज इन टू द साइटोप्लाजम टिल हियर एवरीथिंग इज इन द न्यूक्लियस इट्स इन द न्यूक्लियस लेटर इट विल बी रिलीज इन द साइटोप्लाजम नाउ द एम आर एन ए विच इज प्रेजेंट इन प्रो कैरेटिक सेल्स आर समथिंग कॉल एज पॉलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक पॉलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक मीन्स वन एम आर एन ए कैन लीड फॉर many protein synthesis okay many protein synthesis when it comes to monocystronic one mrna for one protein which is most commonly seen in the human and other eukaryotic cells that is monocystronic one mrna codes for one protein or one gene specifically to tell single gene will code for single protein monocystronic polycystronic one one gene many proteins now i told you it has five prime end which is capped capped by methyl gtp okay methyl gtp what is the reason why it is capped it acts a recognition of mrna by the protein synthesizing machinery which is the ribosome which is called as protein synthesizing machinery also this capping will give stability to the mrna how by preventing the attack by the enzymes that is the five prime exonuclease enzyme which will start digesting the mrna from the five prime end so if you cap it if you cap this then this enzyme cannot act on the mrna so these are the two functions the capping will help for now only capping is occurring no there is something else is occurring on the three prime end or three prime terminal what it is happening there is addition of 22250 adenylate that is the adenine groups are added okay that we call as poly many adenine are added as tail so it is forming a tail poly a tail what is the reason what is the function it maintains the intracellular stability of the mrna by preventing it from three prime end exonuclease otherwise what is this enzyme will does it start digesting the mrna so what the cell is doing it is putting a tail of poly adenine group adenine base so it is called as poly a tailing so these are the modifications it is undergoing and what is the function of messenger rna why it is synthesized it serves as a template for protein synthesis all the proteins what are synthesized they all are from the mrna and also it serves the genetic information from nuclear dna to the protein synthesizing machinery which is present in the cytoplasm okay the ribosomes are present in cytoplasm the dna which contains the information is present in the nucleus and this becomes a mediator the mrna becomes a mediator transferring the information required for the protein synthesis okay so this is the basic function of mrna next coming to a uh, one more question which commonly asked is transfer rna or also called as trna so this also can be a short answer question in the exam they might ask you even to draw the structure so you should be able to draw the structure okay so this is a type of soluble rna which is present in the cytoplasm it is one of the smallest among all three mrnas or all three rnas that contains 74 to 95 nucleotides it helps in the transfer of amino acids that's why it is called as transfer rna there are around 31 different types of trna which are carrying the 20 standard amino acids 20 standard amino acids in the cytoplasm when it comes to the mitochondria there are 22 trnas okay so how we are going to draw the structure of this trna it contains four different arms and one variable arm okay if you see in the structure also you can draw it okay we can draw the structure what it has four different arm you see here first one acceptor arm what it accepts it accepts the 
amino acids like for example here i have shown methionine methionine attached to the acceptor arm okay it is attached to the acceptor arm exactly opposite there is a anticodon arm which will be having anticodon now mrna is read as triplet codons okay triplet codons so this will have a exactly anticodon next it has something called as d arm because of the presence of dihydroxy uridine uracil is modified to form dihydroxy uridine okay so these are the changes you can see next coming to the function so what is the function of it is the function of this is it will act as a adapter it will act as a adapter molecule between mrna and amino acid okay so it is helping the transfer of the methionine to synthesize a compound that is protein protein okay so this is the basic function now coming to the last one which is the ribosomal rna ribosomal rna which is also called as rrna the ribosomal rna is found in association with the protein synthesis the ribosomal rna is found in association with the protein synthesis it helps in the protein synthesis by reading the mrna and the ribosome is spheroidal particle if you see this structure also you can see there are two forms or two subunits one is called as large subunit other is called as small subunits and these subunits are represented as swedberg's unit or s unit which is dependent on the sedimentation coefficient okay in humans we have large subunit as 60 years and small subunit as 40 years and total it becomes 80 years okay at yes which is the normal ribosome present to the eukaryotic cell that is the human cells now finally what is the function of ribosomal rna one it tries to maintain the structure of ribosome and its function this helps in protein biosynthesis by binding to mrna and also some of this has catalytic function what is the catalytic function that is ribozyme ribozyme it is a enzyme nucleic acid or a nucleotide as a enzyme so these are the different functions of the rrna or ribosomal rna now last segment other than this major type what are the other types of rna okay we should know some names like hnrna we have come across already heterogeneous nuclear rna there are some others like snrna that is small nuclear sno rna small nucleolar rna micro rnas and rna interference so these are the other types of rna other than the three major types of the rna okay so with this we come to a conclusion of mentioning what are the different types of rna and also we discussed what are the individually they are made up of individually they are appearing as the structural of the each rna what is the individual functions of each rna and majorly in exam they will ask you about trna okay or transfer rna draw the structure and explain the structure so that is very important question in the rna so with this we we'll conclude for today thank you very much